something Could have seen it in your eyes Took a second, but I'm right here Waiting for you with open arms How about you coming close so we can do my place Maybe we can try Hello guys, welcome to my another video my name is Kristen. if you don't know me thank you so much for tuning in for my subscribers for my new subscribers you are very much welcome to the family for my returnees thank you so much i really appreciate so guys today is vlogmas day four yes i uh, in my other video you had seen i had gone for shopping and in this video i just want to show you what we got for the family of five six yes uh for the month of december you know kids are home and uh, we really need food in the house and uh my i didn't have any uh in the kitchen i had finished everything so i decided to go shopping to just get some few stuffs that we can use in the house so welcome so much to this video please like the video share comment and uh tell your friends to like the video to subscribe so that we can get to 3k subscribers by the end of december guys so let's get into the video guys uh to start with i got uh ugali flour let me start with ugali flour because it's the most important in this house so when whenever possible i will be giving you the prizes so i got soko maize flour uh i got four pieces of soko and uh one packet was going for 211 kenya shillings 211 for one packet of soko then i got i added kavagara because i really love kavagara it's just that the price of kavagara is usually a bit high and uh so i got kavagara at 240 kenya shillings so this was 240 and for the soko was 211 so that is all for the for the ugali flour so another thing i got is this ajab a uh, self-raising flour this one i normally use it for for pancakes yes uh for pancakes or baking so ajab was ajab was 211 kenya shillings so i got one packet of that also got an other ajab for mandazi for chapati i mean and uh this was uh was 211 kenya shillings too so i got two pieces of the home baking flour uh yes i got two pieces then i got the x mandazi this one i normally use it for mandazis and this one was 215 kenya shillings so those are the flours i got also got uh uji flour famila uh uji flour was 146 kenyan shillings yeah famila was 146 we always love the sour one this is what we all take sour porridge in this house so the other thing i got was sugar we also can do without sugar even though we use very little in our tea we don't we don't use a lot of sugar and the kids are, are used to using a uh, very little sugar so we bought two packets of two kgs and and one packet of one kg so the total was five kgs so cabras sugar two kgs was 312 kenyan shillings one kg was 157 kenya shillings and two kgs was 312 kenya shillings you all know sugar has really gone up all the way from 245 to 312 kenyan shillings so i also got baraka chai yeah baraka chai tangawizi and this one was um, 150 kenya shillings baraka chai so another thing that i got was spaghetti i got four dawat spaghetti i always buy this because they are a bit they are good and they are a bit cheaper <coughs> but the blue packet is uh better than this 
So these ones were on offer too for 175 shillings. So I got four pieces. I also got Indomie. Uh, I also got Indomie special chicken flavor. I got two pieces of this. I got two pieces of Indomie. And uh, one packet was... Uh, One packet was what? 235 Kenyan shillings. I think I didn't check the prices keenly because uh, the normal Indomie is normally 140 Kenyan shillings. So I thought the price was same as the normal Indomie. But to my surprise, I just spent 235 Kenyan shillings on one pack of Indomie, which is too much actually i wouldn't have bought this if i saw the prices keenly i wouldn't have bought it at all at all yeah that is a mistake i made next time i will be so keen on the prices i saw 140 and i thought let me just try this new one and unfortunately i've really spent a lot on that which is just for no reason so another thing i got is a prestige 500 gram so prestige was 430 kenya shillings but uh i think it had an offer it was on offer um on a discount of uh, 47 kenya shillings yes so they've indicated a discount there at for 43 kenya shillings so that means i got it at 300 and uh and nine and uh, 60 357 kenya shillings yes it was on offer so that is okay uh, another thing i got was this uh savannah cocoa pine juice another thing i bought were this uh go fruit mango juice and uh go fruit uh mango i i bought three of these including cocoa pine but i think we have already taken the 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 is it cocoa pine the mixed fruit yeah the mixed fruit one we have already taken that so i got it at uh the prices have uh 120 kenya shillings here per piece so i also got uh guys unfortunately uh, i had gotten a rice that was so nice and cheap especially for a huge family uh that you consume a lot of rice so that rice used to be packaged in 10 kg package but unfortunately it was no more it is not there i'm not sure if they will restock again uh so i'm so disappointed because um uh, we are so many in this house and we really eat yes we really eat that's why i love stocking enough rice and enough ugali flour so that even when there's no other food we will do ugali or rice yeah so i was so disappointed and uh, i had to pick another type of rice so i got this himalayan falcon rice it is a premium per boiled quality per boiled biryani biryani rice so i got two kgs of this and this was going for 400 and something so, yeah actually 490 kenya shillings which is very expensive that means per kg is 245 kenya shillings guys I just want to try it and see how it will be. Yeah, so I got that 2kg. And so I added, because 2kg is never enough in this house, and 5kg is also not enough in this house. So I also got the what? Aromatic 5kgs, uh, which is right now the price is... Um, The price is 1,556 Kenya shillings. Yeah, that is 5 kg. So, meaning per kg is 300 and something, guys. 300 and something. The other one that I was buying was 10 kg for 1,600 Kenya shillings. So, you can imagine a kg was 160. And right now, I've just spent 300 and something Kenya shillings for a kg, which is double what I've used to spend. Yeah, I hope that they restock the other rice because me, I don't know.
And uh, the other thing I got was Zesta tomato sauce. The other thing that I never miss buying are these Aruv coconut creams. These ones are always 60, 60 shillings per piece. Yeah. These ones are always 60 shillings per piece. I got six pieces of those, so that is 360 total. I also got uh, vanilla essence. Mine, uh, mine uh, is uh, complete. The one I had is finished, so I had to get another one. And uh, the price was um, 82 Kenya shillings, guys. Yeah, the price was 82 Kenya shillings for that. So... Another thing that I got was uh, Royco. There is no Kenyan house without Royco. Guys, Royco is a, is a brand that has been there for so many years, ever since we were children. So uh, this, this one is good. You just make your skooma and, uh, with Royco and it smells like meat. Especially during these uh, hard times, your skooma will just smell like meat. <coughs> And you will enjoy the food. So another thing that I got were these tomato pests. So another thing I got is Raha chocolate, two pieces. One normally goes for 65 Kenya shillings. The kids love it so much. I don't normally like the taste of chocolate. Uh, especially black chocolate, no. Maybe white chocolate, yeah. I also got some Royco cubes. This is chicken flavor. For any Luya family, chicken is a must. So I also got some can salt. Yeah, I got some can salt. And uh, the other things I got were, I got the top fry uh, vegetable cooking oil, 5 liters. Uh, this one was, uh, let me just check. Aha, uh -huh. top fry, top fry, top fry. It was 18, what? Oh, the price was supposed to be 18.91. And uh, with a discount of minus 8.22. Yeah, so that means the price was 1,000 and something because I, I was just about to faint when I saw 18.99 and 10.91 and I had seen on the shelf it was 1,000 and something. It was actually the cheapest that's why I bought it. I'm going for cheap things. Yeah, so I've just seen here it's written 18.91 minus a discount of 8.22. It comes to 10, 10,000 and something. It's no time for calculating. Yeah. So another thing I got is bread for the kids. When kids are home, a lot of eating is being done. Yeah, so I got bread for them. Actually, this house, they really love bread. I don't know why. Not not even bread. Anything wheat. Even if you bake donuts, you bake cake, you bake, you make mandazis, you make chapati, a full packet of chapati. Um, believe me, the next day, there are no more. So, they really love wheat, except me. I don't take wheat nowadays, just once in a while, when I'm feeling that there is nothing in the house to eat. That's when I take wheat. So, I got them smokies. I got them these smokies at um, 469 Kenya shillings. Yeah, I remember this thing. I used to buy it a lot when it was 390 Kenya shillings. And now it is 465. I buy it once in a blue moon. I don't normally buy it every month because it's not a necessity. I also got beef brown. This one used to be 100 Kenya shillings. And uh, this time round... It is 200 and, uh, no, it should be 130 something. It, it was 130 something. I can't see the price. So I also got this, uh, beef Viennas. Yeah, this beef Viennas. Uh, there's something I want to make out of this. I just want to make for the kids something out of this. Uh, so I got these at 275 Kenya shillings, guys, and they are only eight pieces, actually. This is just something that will give you runny mouth and uh, you forget about it because you'll just eat it once. Like us in the house, we are so many. 
this is just a one off one off thing yeah and that 275 is equivalent to one kavagara you can cook it three times so i also got a soda for them also got a soda I got some malas. Uh, my house without mala is no house. They are big savior. Whenever we don't have any anything to eat or we don't feel like making a lot of stews and all that, we just make skuma and ugali and we top up with mala. Yeah, that is how we do it here. I also got uh, peanut butter. Uh, this is a small one in this house. One week, it's done. These people here are food years. Food years. So, I also got some, uh, these uh, plain yogurts. I normally buy them just in case I need to use them. Or at uh, times I take them because of my ulcer thing. Yeah, they are good for ulcers. So, I bought four pieces of this. And with this, I got some yogurts and... Uh, Immediately we arrived home, they were done. They were gone. Yeah, so they couldn't wait for the haul. So those are what I got. But we live to eat. There's nothing. We have to eat. So I also got some Milos. These are just three packets. Yeah, four packets of Milos sachets. And... Uh, I also got some sachets of coffee, several sachets of coffee, and uh, some juicy, juicy, juicy fruits. That advertisement for juicy fruit, I really love it. The Mbaba who normally dances, uh, juicy, juicy, juicy fruit, yeah. I got some juicy fruit, two pieces. These ones will go in my handbag. Whenever I'm in Kampunji, I will be chewing on them. So, the other thing I got is a box of milk, a box of milk, yeah, so a box of milk was, uh, was 1,080 Kenya shillings, a discount of 54, that comes to 1,036. 26 kenya shillings yeah 1026 kenya shillings uh was is a pack of 10 and they were going for 345 kenya shillings yeah these ones were 345 kenya shillings i'm always keen when picking tissues because tissues have really gone up so i always check on the on the cheapest best quality yeah the cheapest best quality not the cheapest but the, the worst quality, I always check on a, a quality that is better, but cheap. So, I also got the Safisha, uh, Safisha Bleach. This one was uh, 152, if I'm not wrong. 160, yeah, I'm not far from that. 150 and 60 Kenyan shillings. I also got this pride in. It was 200 Kenyan shillings. Some uh, prices are normally here. So the, I also got the steel wool was uh, 62 Kenyan shillings. We really need non-stick sufuria so that we can stop buying the Steel wool. And I also got this pepsodent. I love the pepsodent because it comes in two packs. One goes to our washroom and the other one goes to the kids' washroom. That is why I love this value pack. Actually, this one used to go for... This one has gone up, guys. Let me just check. It was 300 and... 19 kenya shillings this pack i used to buy it at 250 i don't know when it went up but it has gone up yeah i know majority of us use that but the prices have up 
so I also got a tiller. It normally comes as an offer like this. I got that piece even though I have other and others in stock. Uh, yeah, I've not run out of that. So this one was, uh, it was 260 Kenya shillings, guys, for two pieces. One for our toilet, the other one for the kids' toilet. So, uh, I'll be picking items like this when I find them on offer so that I can just put one in the other toilet and another one. Not buying one for this and one. I'll just buy one pack and, and share like that. So I also got the kids this baby care formula and I also got this small coconut cream, coconut hair food. We normally use coconut oil here in our, in our hairs. So I got three files, two for the twins, one for Nicolette. They need to file their papers there. I also got Nicolette this Amara Shia, Roshia Butter. She really cried that she needs lotion. She doesn't know that we, we, we started applying lotion after we have received our salaries. Uh, but um, actually she really needs it. Yeah, that's why I bought it. If she wasn't needing it, I wouldn't have bought it. So I also bought the cling film. This one was 100 Kenya shillings. And I uh, also bought the Clean Soft Washing Powder. This is actually the cheapest. And so far, I've used it severally. And uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. So that's why I keep on buying and buying and buying it. Yeah, I can't see the pricing. I also got some... Sunlight soap. Actually, this well, the reason why I normally get these pieces is because Nicolette doesn't like using um, liquid soap for utensils. Nicolette and his her cousin. So you will always find them uh, looking for bar soap to wash the dishes with. That's why I, these days I normally buy such sunlight soaps to just help them wash the utensils. I think when they use uh, liquid soap, they, their utensils don't get clean. So I also bought an air freshener spice flavor. Uh, this one uh, was uh, I can't get to see the prices, guys. This one was 240 Kenya shillings. This thing, I used to buy it at 140, 150 Kenya shillings. This small thing. But now it's competing with Ugali Fla. Kavagara specifically at 240 Kenya shillings. So, Arimax uh, Air Freshener. I got it. And, uh, let me just not say the price. I also got this one, the lavender one. This one is the one that normally sticks on top of the toilet here. Yeah. And this one you have to, to open the pack and remove it for the fresh air to come. So I also got the flamingo soap. And uh, uh, I added the geisha. I used to buy this geisha black soap. Uh, but... Uh, the prices again went up and we can't just buy this alone. So we supplement with the things like Flamingo and uh, Menengai. I had seen uh, Linda Murray, I think, was buying this Menengai and she recommended it. So I said, why not try it? Linda Murray is a YouTuber. Kindly visit her if you don't know her. So I also bought the Vim Sachet because it's cheaper than the other one. This one is normally 70 shillings and the other one is 100 and something plus. So I also got the Caprotex. So these are just soaps I'm collecting, not one brand. I'm just trying to mix here and there. Yeah. And I also got Arimix for my hubby. This is what he uses. And uh, in on half on his face, yeah, not on the body. He uses lotion. So this one I also bought for the kitchen. 
Yeah, and I think those are the things that I all I got from the supermarket. Those are all the things I got from the supermarket, guys. And they, I really spent a huge amount of money on those items. And you can see they are not a lot. They are not a lot, guys. So what I'm thinking is I just want to look for money so that I can visit the the wholesale shop and just get things like a bell of tissue, a box of bar soap, uh, a bag of rice, uh, something like th such things so that when I go for shopping, I will just be topping up or getting things that I'm not getting in the wholesale shop. So that is my plan for the year 2023, guys. So thank you so much for watching, guys, till this far. If you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please, what are you waiting for, guys? Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. This is Vlogmas Day 4 and tomorrow will be another Vlogmas Day 5. So see you in my next video tomorrow. Like, share, comment and uh, give me some love, guys. Thank you so much and goodbye. I love you all and...